and commentator Martin Williams were there to see battle commence. And having just been reappointed to the Welsh International Referees panel with Derek Bevan and Winston Jones, Clive Morling is the referee for this match of matches. Don't come much harder than this one. A capacity crowd at the Knoll, 13,000 ticket holders as Paul Corbin gets it underway. And as so often happens, Corbin kicking the ball away and opting for the dropout 22 from Trinity. And great responsibility on the shoulders of this man, Kevin Thomas, preferred to Ben Charles in the outside half position for Trinetti. It's not a bad dropout. Mayak and the pressure on Trinetti in the opening exchanges. As Meek down the pace, Mayak battles away with the ball. Lynn Jones gets it away to Mark Jones, pulled by Jonathan Griffiths on Trinetti. Powell. To Jonathan Davis, no knock on. One captain to the other, Phil May. Well, this match has gathered pace right from the beginning. Jonathan Davis is kicked, fielded by Phil May, and here's the captain with a rather ungainly kick into touch, but it's safe. So the initiative with Neath after the kickoff. And Clive Norling asking for a bit of distance between the two packs. And this, of course, a crucial area for both sides. Phillips with a throw. Griffiths. Neath the through ever so quickly on the Fnatic scrum half. No advantage, but uh, Neath will have the scrum. And a little bit of friction between Stuart Evans and Buchanan already creeping in. So a stern lecture from Ty Morling. A good attacking position deep inside the 20 22. No doubt for the instructions of feeding his captain and outside half, Jonathan Davis. Davis, the miss out of man is to Leite. He's got away from the tackle. It's Leite. And somehow or other, Nigel Davis, there in the nick of time, but it still needs four. It comes out. And a tremendous tackle by Finetti right in the corner. And the tackler was Phil Lewis. Kevin Thomas awaiting, but the scrum half takes the responsibility on his own, Jonathan Griffiths. <laughs> Buchanan for Trinetti, Jeremy Pugh alongside and number one on his back for me. Hugh Richards and Phil May behind them. That could be an interesting battle. And the importance of the throw, crucial. Gnoyak, Jonathan Davis this to test Martin Gravel. Jonathan Griffiths goes back as well. Gravel takes his eye at the ball. Powell with a fly hack. Well, these are dangerous times for Trinetti. Phil Bennett, a nasty mistake there for Martin Gravel. Yes, it was a very high up and under by Jonathan Davis. And Gravel seemed to get under it, but dropped the ball. And Trinetti were very lucky to get away with not conceding a try. The options open for Jonathan Davis in the outside half position. A familiar position for him. Scored a try against Bath from a similar distance. Jonathan Davis, drop goal. Has hit the post. The ball is loose. Picked up by Cornelius. And the penalty to Trinetti, neat in front of the ball. And perfect ball for Jonathan Davis. All the time in the world, it seemed to go over, but unlucky for him underneath, he strikes the post and rebounds. 10 metres outside the Trinetti 22. Clegg gets up high. Jones gathers at the back of the line-out. Well fed back to Knoyak. Trinetti are through. And the penalty. Trinetti a little bit too eager. Grenville Morgan of Pond of Clean has uh, noticed an infringement. 
It looks as if he's indicating that there's a stamping offence. And it's Stuart Evans being called over by referee Clive Bowling. Well, it was obvious there that uh, they went over in the ruck, and I think they rucked David Pickering rather harshly, and the, the touch chair was on the spot and awards the penalty with an all-in now to Tanefi. So, a reversal of penalties, and the guilty man, Stuart Evans. Kevin Thomas, it doesn't reach its mark. Corbin gathers, that's gone way, way up above the mall. Phil Davis takes brilliantly for Tanefi. And in go Leek. The boots are flying, so two of the punches. And referee Norling walks across. Jonathan Davis absolutely crossed with Jeremy Pugh for getting involved. And again, there's Grenville Morgan, the touch judge, pointing. Well, this could well be a very dramatic incident. Stuart Evans has been called over. Well, let's see what referee Clive Norling, Stuart Evans, of course, should be booked for a Welsh team place against France. The announcement to come next Thursday. Well, he's a lucky fellow indeed because he was warned twice in the same minute. And some leniency being shown by referee Clive Norling. Kevin Thomas with the penalty against the wind, curls it in. And for the second time, takes Flanetti into the neat half. Brian Thomas, the neat uh, team manager, slightly to the left of your picture. And I wonder, Phil Bennett, whether he might be satisfied with Neath's progress so far. Well, they've had more of the pressure. They've lived inside Flanetti's 22, and Davis has hit the post with a drop goal attempt, and Thorburn just wide. But I think he'd want six or ten points on the post by, on the scoreboard by now. Away goes Jonathan Griffiths, there's a bit of a gap there, there's a bit of pace as well from Jonathan Griffiths, Phil Lewis going up for the ball, who get there first, but the ball defeats everybody, and goes over the dead ball area. And this is very interesting, we can see from the scrum, it's very solid ball by Tlenetti, I thought Phil Davis was in the pickup, but in a flash, Griffiths has got the ball and he's got away from Pugh, shows tremendous pace on the outside, comes up to Thorburn, a lovely kick ahead, but it runs just a little bit too far and it's over the dead ball line. There's a scrum just inside the neath half. Gnoyak with the feed. Jonathan Davis. This might be a kick infield. The centres go up very, very quickly. Powell is there. Martin Gladell is underneath. A tremendous tackle by Steve Powell. And Sinefi being accused of using a bit of obstruction, a bit of elbow, impeding the progress of a neath player. There's one thing that Jonathan Davis has done this afternoon, and he has put some lovely up and unders in. And here's another perfect one. And just look at Powell making good ground. And Norlin's on the spot. He sees a little bit of, of obstruction. And as Gravel is tackled at full back, he awards the penalty to Neath. Not a lengthy distance by any means. Just needs the accuracy of the kick. He certainly has the distance. Some 30 metres. Neath are into the lead. Corbin, the kicker. And that takes him to exactly 150 points for the season. So Neath draw first blood, Corbin three points, Neath three points, Finetti nil. Griffiths again, who's got a bit of a hand injury. Thomas doesn't reach its mark. That's been noteworthy of this game, but this one is a high one from Corbin. Thomas, the ball's loose. Leite, he's got a man outside to Graham Davis. An opening try. No, indeed, disallowed. Disallowed, a forward pass, says referee Clive Norley. And when you see that Kevin Thomas fails to find touch, Thorburn puts a huge kick in, a tremendous tackle by Powell, and the ball goes loose. A certain neat try, but a forward pass denies them. Griffiths and the drive is coming from the Welsh All Blacks. They've turned Tanefi right around and a penalty to Tanefi. And that'll come as no small relief to the huge band of followers that have made the short trip from Straddy. Martin Gravel with a kick and a touch as we enter injury time, but it doesn't reach its mark again. 
Jonathan Davis is going to attempt a mighty long one. It looks good. It's for Hill. A huge drop goal from Jonathan Davis. Oh, sheer magic from the Welsh outside half. A mighty distance of some 40 metres. And old Tennessee must be kicking themselves because yet again they failed to find touch. This time it's Martin Gravel aims for distance instead of putting it safe. Well taken by Thorburn and a lovely pass out of Jonathan Davis. He's got all the time in the world and this man is class. Strikes it beautifully and there it is between the posts. Well, that drop goal by Jonathan Davis was the second score of the first half. We rejoin the match now a little way into the second half. Phillips with a go with Phil May having moved into the middle of the line out for Tanetti. Dreyer gets a lovely pass out and suddenly it's David Pickering. Pickering takes the ball beautifully and the kick down towards the 22. Well, that was superb work by the Welsh international flanker. The pass from Dreyer was a little bit slow, a little bit telegraphed and Pickering was onto it like a flash. Shorten line out, two at the back for Neath. The pick up is by Barry Clegg. So a defensive put in for Carl Mayak. Jonathan Davis, line deep to the left of your picture. The control from Mark Jones and the pick-up by him as well. Messi going over the top. And the penalty to be taken by Jonathan Davis. looking kick and back to Neath into Tanetti territory Bill Richards from Pompey Form is capped during the South Seas tour by Wales in the summer Thomas Nettie running the ball. Was that a late tackle by Lynn Jones? Martin Gravel up to the line. Phil Lewis with a kick. Corbin's back there. Neatly guiding the ball over his shoulder. Well, the accuracy of Paul Corbin's kicking a little bit better than his counterpart in the Nettie team. Fox with a throw. Hugh with a feed. Ryan to Jonathan Davis. A second drop goal, maybe. It's a low one, but it's there. The second drop goal for Jonathan Davis, and that's his eighth of the season, and they don't come more crucial than that. And as I said earlier, the crucial part of this game has been Neath winning the ball in the line-out. And here, as we see, the ball comes in, and it's a lovely clean tap out to Jonathan Davis all the time in the world. It's slow, but it's over, and it's three points again for Davis, 9-0 to Neath. Phillips taken well by Gary Jones, Kevin Thomas, and here's Gary Evans, first touch of the ball, up towards the Neath try line, Griffiths, Gary Jones lying off the ball, the ball is loose for Tanetti, the big news is Jonathan Griffiths, he comes to Gary Evans, was that a high tackle by Elgin Rees? And Elgin Rees, I no doubt, is going to have a stern warning about that tackle on Gary Evans, it certainly was high. And we can see that it's Evans has created the havoc in the Neath defence by breaking through. Good support play by the Tlesley forwards, driving in. Gary, Gary Jones again sets it up. And when the ball comes back to Yain Evans, he goes on the narrow side. But Elgin Reese comes in with a terrible tackle, catches him right in the throat and lays him flat. Griffiths again. 
The tap on the thigh. Kume with a charge. The ball comes loose. Buchanan is there, <laughs> tries to get the ball out to Aaron Evans. It's all frustration for Fanatic. So it's Kevin Phillips with the throw. And still the pressure on the tight in the corner. Fanatic have it. Jonathan Griffiths to Kevin Thomas. This through Simon Davis. But the neat back row did exceptionally well to stop it right in midfield. And it's a penalty to Tanaki. Someone wonders what they might do with this one. He's accused of killing the ball. No hesitation this time. It's Kevin Thomas to attempt a very, very short penalty just under the neat post. come into this Trinetti side for Ben Childs 92 points to his credit this season so far simple kick well he went over it wasn't the most accurate of kicks didn't go slap bang in the middle of the post but they all count and Trinetti at last are on the scoreboard Corbin to restart with 16 minutes of the match to go Kevin Thomas bit uh, fortunate to get the second uh, possession but he's uh, made a mistake with a kick I and mean, could this be the third drop goal it's a huge one from Jonathan Davis and it's there his third drop goal of the afternoon you simply can't keep this man down jubilant need supporters all around the arms going up Jonathan Davis seems destined to win this match on his own and it's basics really because Kevin Thomas, Thomas makes a hash of the kickoff, doesn't fi find touch, and when he eventually comes out to Jonathan Davis, he's got time, he's got room, it's a very long one, but it's smack between the posts. Three, Johnny. 12 points to three, nine points the difference. On the 22 metre line with Nettie, desperate to get some points, but rarely have they looked like achieving their target. May, good scrum half pass from the captain to Kevin Thomas. Suggested the late tackle by Lynn Jones, but Simon Davis making a half break. Nettie will need to arrive there in numbers and quickly indeed to make full use of that little run by Simon Davis. Yet again, the whistle goes, denying them the initiative. The sad news for Tanetti, Martin Gravel, who's been in the wars throughout the afternoon, leaving the field as Peter Hopkins of Tanetti brings his side up to the full complement of 15. Tanetti again calling for the shortened variation. Three men in the lineup. Cornelius is there, but again the Neath win the ball. Lynn Jones has got it a half gap. He set it up. Tremendous play by the Neath back. Jonathan Davis on the far side. To Colin Leighty, to Paul Corbin has come in as the extra man. The Corbin still going. Being half tackled by Phil Lewis to Graham Davis. And that's about the first time that Neath moved the ball, and it was a lovely flick, flick pass. You see, going along the line, a lovely flick pass by Leith. He gives Thorburn the chance to come in with pace. He shows his power, but he's eventually forced into touch. And this is the problem area, fortunately. The old adage, you can't win games if you don't win the ball. And there's the frustration showing. Look, you just, you said you can't win the ball. They lost that line yet again. Somebody did something wrong, gnawing on the spot, and he's awarded a penalty. So it's Thorburn, having had some success with one penalty so far in the first half. A fair number of misses, though. It's low one, and that means curtains for Smithy. 
Paul Corbin facing the lead lead to 15 points to face. And this could very much be next year. Referee Clive Lawling, too generous with the watch. Six minutes of injury time played. The cannon on the field. Or would you believe that Nisa won it again? Jonathan Davis. Oh, a bit of magic from Jonathan Davis. He's looking for Elgin Reese. Reese outside. Jonathan Griffiths comes across as well as the Smithies come half. And it's Griffiths again. The ball will not reach touch. It's Jonathan Davis going back, carrying a bit of a shoulder injury. <laughs> He's absolutely shattered. He's injured. That's the right shoulder of his. But there was a little piece of Jonathan Davis magic. Fox. Not a straight one, but it goes to David Pickering. And that is it. That is the final whistle. Needs to go through to the next round of this cup. A tense match. We didn't see much running rugby. And really, it was a poor Tenefi performance. Some of the kicking, lacking in accuracy and giving Neath the advantage. But the hero of the hour, without a doubt, was the man who dropped three goals, Jonathan Davis.